welcome to Mama's vlog. <laughs> talking about people they could be attractive they could be a nuisance but they could be both but we're talking about swimming pools and similar attractive nuisance stuff we'll explain it for now let's go swimming about something that's very shall I say relevant for the summer no it's this concept called attractive nuisance and you're gonna understand in a bit kung bakit relevant siya sa summer and bakit relevant siya sa mga chikiting and swimming pools and such according to research accidents are the sixth leading cause of morbidity and mortality in the Philippines akalain mo yon. so especially so when there are children involved ayan gumalap so there are UNICEF and WHO reports and research on injury, particularly children related or child related injuries kasi sila yung mas susceptible sa injury dahil sa you know nature lang nilang maging malikot, nature nila yan na maging makulit especially when they're in a very nice or they're in an environment where play is encouraged or in a curious environment like swimming pools so they crawl they climb they squeeze through stair balustrades they slide down the stair handrails they swing on gates they jump on water they ride their bikes and all of those and of course there will be times when even the most careful of parents you know would encounter accidents where their children are involved. So, dito napapasok ang isang concept sa Philippine law, actually international law, called attractive nuisance. 
Ito muna tayo sa definition ng nuisance. Ano ba yung nuisance? So, Philippine law defines nuisance as any act or omission, anything, any anything, any condition of any property na nakaka-injure or nakaka-endanger sa health and safety ng iba, nakaka-annoy sa senses, yung mabaho, maingay, ganyan, it shocks, it defies, it disregards decency or morality, it obstructs free passage uh, of any public highway or street or any body of water or you know, anything that tends to hinder or impair the use of property. So, based sa isang case, a very old case, it's called Hidalgo Enterprises Inc. versus Balandan, the Supreme Court had the occasion um, to define kung ano yung doctrine of attractive nuisance. So, the concept is anybody or one who maintains in his premises or in his property. So, ang key dito is meron kang property and merong mga danger or dangerous instrumentalities or you know anything any appliance of any character that is likely to attract children in play so any you know kumbaga anything that is attractive to a child or to anything that's likely to attract children in play and hindi ka nakapag-exercise ng ordinary care to prevent the children from playing their two is liable to a child of tender years na may injure ng property na yon. So, yung owner ng premises na yon remains liable even if nag-trespass lang yung child or even if walang pahintulot yung owner na tumambay yung or walang pahintulot ng owner ang pagtambay ng child doon. So, sa case na yun ng Hidalgo Enterprises, um, it was unfortunate that um, Hidalgo, who owns a, an ice plant, meron kasing mga, mga tangke ng tubig na pinaglaroan ng isang bata or group of children. Eh, unfortunately, nalunod ang isa sa mga batang naglaro doon sa compound ni Hidalgo or ng Hidalgo Enterprises Inc. And then, the law, yun nga, since nag, nag yung parents nung namatay na bata sa Hidalgo Enterprises versus Inc., sa lower courts nanalo yung parents ng bata na namatay kasi sinasabi nila na dapat pinrevent daw ni Hidalgo Enterprises Inc. or nag-ingat nag dapat si Hidalgo Enterprises versus si Hidalgo Enterprises ay nag-ingat daw dapat when they were maintaining the water tanks or when they had those water tanks. So, ang sinabi naman ng court, ang swimming pools or bodies of water ay hindi attractive nuisance. Kasi, it just replicates a natural thing, a natural, you know, something very, very natural. So, Hidalgo Enterprises Inc. cannot be held liable for the drowning of the child. So in that case, especially so since wala yung parents ng bata, merong contributory negligence. Ibig sabihin ng contributory negligence, kung nabantayan ng mga magulang ng bata, yung batang yon ng maayos, hindi sana magpupunta yung batang yon dun sa isang ice plant at sa tangkay ng ice plant para mag-swimming. Merong mga ganong factors dun sa case. Kaya nag-decide ang Supreme Court in that vein. So the case or the Supreme Court in that decision said that the attractive nuisance doctrine is generally not applicable sa mga bodies of water. Artificial man yan, as well as natural, in the absence of some unusual condition or artificial feature other than that it's a mere body of water and its location. So, ano-ano ba? Kung naiba ang facts ng story na ito, ano-ano ba yung mga bodies of water na makaka-attract or magiging source na attractive nuisance. Well, one could be a slide. So, the owner of the swimming pool with a slide, the pool with a slide is highly attractive to children, likely to attract children at play. Then, dapat ingatan ng owner of the swimming pool yung, yung perimeter or yung dapat merong nagbabantay, dapat extra careful sa mga, you know, gilid-gilid ng swimming pool, walang matalas kasi nga, nagsa-slide, it invites children, you know, to slide or use any of the special features of that swimming pool. Not just it's a swimming pool per se. The takeaway here is 
everybody should be careful whether it's the parents of the child or children or property owners who have features in their property that might invite uh, mga naglalarong bata. So you have to clear your place, you have to clean the place, you have to make sure na uh, walang hazard yung lugar mo kahit you know you maintain an open an open space or an open property your ownership of a certain property still has limits and still has obligations and responsibilities it has to be safe it has to be you know safe from injury and safe from things that could cause harm to others even if they are you know the children especially the children even if they're not allowed to play inside. so there you have it another quick edition of summer edition summer edition of attorney age legal diaries i hope you learned a thing or two about attractive noisance so when you hear about attractive noisance hindi lang siya huh may attractive huh may noisance ano yun so attractive noisance is a concept in civil law okay take care have fun stay safe and enjoy the rest of the holy week